What have we got here? Somebody's into their boxing. I thought, I'm going to give him a wee dig in the chin. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> My start was better. My start was better. <laughs> Fortunately for me, he's a bit shorter than I am and uh, I've got a longer reach. My start was better. <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It really wasn't. Back with the hosts and David's admiring his starter. Someone else appreciates presentation. I'm down to, uh, I'm down to contribute to it, you know. Thank you. Yes, very good of you. The soup is ladled into heart-shaped bowls and topped with sour cream. But Bouillon would be very proud. <laughs> And Grandma's borscht with salad Olivier is served. Here you go. That's our starter. So, what is the starter? Because I didn't really so know what it was. We couldn't even read it. This is borscht. <laughs> it's a Russian soup made with beets. You mix the sour cream in, so it should be like, it should end up being like more of a pinkish consistency. Now that I've had a taste of Russian cuisine, I won't be rushing all the way to Moscow. <laughs> I like the starter. I didn't like the starter. So, mixed. Mixed on that one. I'm not a soup person, mm. but the salad, I really like. I would just like it noted that the fussy eaters for the starter <laughs> were the ladies, mm -hmm. and not me, <laughs> because I love the soup. I so the I hate them, I love them. That's the winner for me. Awesome. Aww. That starter was a good starter. Best one of the week. Other than your own? Other than my own. Of course. I wasn't expecting that, that nice feedback, so it was really it was really positive, I thought. Andrew ate it. Yeah. That's all that has to be said. You're a boxer, then? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Have a little fun with it sometimes. Listen, I'm so sorry for slagging your <laughs> best <laughs> sorry, I take it all back. Well, he's not actually a boxer. He's a professional Muay Thai fighter. You think you could show me, show me some? You want to see a clinch move? I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit afraid. Okay. Uh, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Picture someone's punching you, right? Okay. So I thought you'd throw some punches. Nice. So I say, I don't like that. I come here, I like to swing, boom, and hit a knee, and then I sort of protect myself. I stay close, and I'll do that one more time. <laughs> and do that little throw right there. I was feared for Brian's life with the multi demo. I thought you were going flying. You were feared. What do you think I feel like? <laughs> Watch my suit. Watch my suit. <laughs> All right, so now you try it on me, yeah? Yeah, OK. So I'm throwing punches Sweet. at you. I'm throwing punches. You grab onto my neck. Grab onto my neck. Yep, you grab on. Cool. Oh, oh baby! Oh, Sarah, oh, get him! The best was David's face. <laughs> <laughs> I think he rather had taken the punch to the face than that, than that kiss. Main time, and Sarah whips up some rice while David lays out flatbread. So how are those dolmas? Oh, my own well. I think he likes them. Either way, Sarah dishes them out. And the plate is finished off with tabbouleh and Armenian horovats. AKA barbecue chicken. Thank you. Oh. Uh, so that's what a dolma is. Mm. The chicken is truly stunning. Mm. Really? Yeah. The flavour is absolutely yeah. beautiful. It's it really gorgeous. tasty. Awesome. Yeah. The best part of the main course for me by far was the chicken. The flavour was absolutely beautiful. It was such a colourful plate. There was lots of different flavours, you know, and it was, it was, they all mixed perfectly. I, I think the main looked absolutely gorgeous. The chicken was the best. Oh, and the sauce, uh, the dip sauce that came with the dolma, that was beautiful. I was really worried about the main. It was the biggest risk on our menu, but I generally don't think it could have gone any better. This is going well. Speech! I'd like to make a toast that, uh to all the ladies in our lives that make life so special. Uh, you're worth standing up for, you're worth doing anything for. Without you, we wouldn't be sitting at this table doing the wonderful things we're doing. And any man who's sitting down is figuratively on his knees, so please just forgive them. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's your cue to get up, guys. You are putting me to shame here, by the way. me shame. No, as you were then. <laughs> I didn't expect that from him because he seems like quite a, you know, a bit of a macho man. To our ladies, to our ladies. I really wish you were more like that, if I'm honest. It was so sweet. Mm.